I was absolutely intrigued by this when I saw it on Instagram. Today we're going to be talking about the Crown Makeup Practice Board. I will leave all the prices in the description box below and how much I bought everything including the 20% discount that they were offering at the time. I still do think that they're doing a 20% discount and this video is also not sponsored. It's just I was really excited to see this product. It's the Crown Makeup Practice Board and I'm going to be showing you how we use it. I did an ASMR video on my other channel, Julie Lux ASMR, if you're interested to see that, I will leave that channel in the description as well. Uh, but anyway, this is the makeup board and literally it is almost the size of your face. It is the size of your face, pretty much. It has these fake eyes. It's got little hairs up here for eyebrows that you can actually shadow in or use whatever you want. You can pretty much use whatever you want on this board as you would on your normal face, okay? So really, really, really excellent for people who love playing around with makeup or who just are curious to see what different looks to do before even putting it on your, on your eyes. And um, for me, it's more about the therapeutic feeling of putting on makeup and just coloring in, painting. If you're an artist, someone who just enjoys color, this is such a great thing to use, honestly. So the way it works is you would prep the eyes with primer, eyeshadow, primer or foundation or anything that you would use to prep your eyes because this is gonna mimic exactly what you put on your eyes in real life. So I'm just gonna be using a foundation and I'm going to be putting a little bit of that. Now I was going to show, I am going to show a video of the camera pointing downwards, but I'm just going to pretty much show you how I prep the eyes, okay? I'm just getting a bit of foundation on my fingers, like literally a pea-sized amount like that. And I'm just putting it on the eyelids. Okay, so you can see that I've put a dollop of foundation on the eyelids just like that. Now, you can brush this in with a brush, but I'm going to be using a damp beauty sponge like I would in normal real life. So I'm just dabbing that in all over the eyelid, okay? You can see that the foundation is being used here as a primer. You can even tap this in with your fingers. It feels... I don't know how to describe the feeling of this board. It just feels great like a velvet matte finish while i'm here i'm just going to pretty much dip into a shadow while i was on the site by the way just so you know while i was on the site because they were so dirt cheap i picked up two eyeshadow palettes by crown as well this one here is the overexposed eyeshadow palette it was only ten dollars and this one here is the pure exposed you know what in all honesty i only probably needed one but i needed to make the free shipping and it, it just ended up being more worthwhile to pretty much buy the eyeshadow palettes and get the free shipping including the 20 percent discount so these are the two eyeshadow palettes they look so familiar right tell me what they look like urban decay naked three <laughs> and Urban Decay, one of the other naked palettes. Sorry, I just, I can't, I can't open them up. I'll just open them up this way. So I don't want to, there is brushes in them included. Just like the majority of, of all these other types of eyeshadow palettes. But that's, that's it there. Okay, so, and then you can see that they're pretty much almost identical in the shade range there. Were these eyeshadows something that I buy just in real life probably not uh, because i love crown brushes i do have some other crown brushes i also picked up these crown brushes just because they were going to be worth picking up um, as part of the deal so i got the chisel fluff ss034 brush 
which is this one here. It's just a flat, small shader brush. I picked up the C456 pointed blender brush. This is a huge brush which could also be used excellent for concealer. And I also picked up this cute little thing because I don't have a brush like this and it's the Crown, of course it's Crown, it's the SSOO Lash Fan Brush. So you could use this as a mascara lash application. I don't know if this is blurry. I'm so sorry if it's blurry. Anyway, let's go ahead and just do some eyebrows because I want to show you how that turns out first. So I'm going to be dipping into black because it's the darkest kind of shade that I can find. So I'm just dipping into, I'm using the, the flat shader brush and I'm dipping into black. So, well, it's actually not black, it's a very deep, dark brown. But I just want to show you how the eyebrows turn out. I'm just going to sit this way so I can show you. Pretty much just using the pointed end of my brush and I'm filling in the brows. Now because I'm doing this holding it vertically, there's going to be some fallout, but usually the fallout is minimized if you have this lying straight flat on a table, which I am going to show you, but I just want to show you the eyebrows real quickly. How amazing is that, right? The eyebrows are done. Going in now to do an eyeshadow makeup look. I'm going to point the camera downward so that you can actually see the application. I'm going to start off with a really nice transition shade and I'm just dipping into this shade right here. It's number 19 from the Pure Exposed palette and I'm just running the brush over the crease area. So you can see just window wipe motions as I would do on my normal eyelid. On this eye I'm going to do a colourful look. Now I'm using the flat shader brush and I'm going to go in with this silvery shadow right here which is number 21. I mean you could use this brush as well from the palette but I bought these. This is the Inglot brush by the way. It's not one of the crown brushes. Putting that in the inner corner part of the eye and up to the center of the lid. Now using a darker shade this is number 23. I'm going to be doing a more of a defined smokier eye on the tail end of the eye there. I'm just going to blend in that demarcation line there as well. Just picking up a nude shade and I'm just going to soften the edges of that shadow up to the brow. I'm also going to fix up the eyebrow a bit because I'm not 100% happy with that. I'm just going to fix up the brow. There, that looks better. It does have like real hairs here. It's not real, but it's like it's synthetic. I'm going to soften out the edges of that shadow here. Now we're going to apply eyeliner. Now you can use a real liner pen, but I'm going to be using the same flat shader brush that came with the brush, with that came with the eyeshadow palette. And I'm dipping into that dark shade again, tapping off the excess, and I'm gonna line. I apologize for the banging. The next door neighbors are banging something on their veranda. I'm just gonna do a little wing. I'm going to do a smoky under eye. I'm using the edge of that flat shader brush and just joining it up. Now you can also go in and do a inner corner highlight right there, but I'm just going to keep this nice and neutral matte. I'm just going to smoke out that under eye lash a little bit more. Now, if eyeshadow does get inside the eye, you can simply just blow on it or wipe it with a 
makeup remover and it easily comes off. I'm just going to, oh, there goes my brush, smooth the edges of these shadows here just to make a little bit more blended. I'm going to put on some fake eyelashes. If only putting on fake eyelashes was this easy in real life, right? These are just cheapy, cheapy lashes because I, I don't really use fake lashes myself. But here's the look with the fake eyelashes and the completed look. In close, I hope I'm filming this. I can't actually see if it's being captured, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so kind of cool. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a colorful eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go in with a beautiful blue shade here called Summer Breeze. I'm gonna to have to use my left hand for this, which is fine. It just goes on so smoothly. It feels like, I don't know. I mean, it feels better than putting it on real skin, to be honest, but uh, so smooth and it's just fun. It is just a whole heap of fun. I'm dipping into that same blue shadow again with a fluffier brush and I'm just going to do the the edges of that shadow there just to blow it out. So, so smooth. With the same flat shader brush I'm going in with a deeper electric blue and I'm going to be doing the outer corner of the eye, soften out the edges there. I need to use my right hand. I'm just blending it out, blending it out, blending it out. It's so, so much fun. Now with my finger, I'm gonna dip in with a really nice shimmery shade, Molten. Now I'm just going to pick up a bit of Molten and soften the, the edges of that blue with Molten and the purple as well. Using a flat shader brush, just going to work that in just to blend that in a bit better. And now I'm just getting a neutral nude shade and I'm just running over the edges of those shadows there, taking it up to the brow bone, I'm just blowing off the excess shadow and there we have a gorgeous beautiful look. Let's go ahead and do a brown eyeshadow for the eyebrow. I'm just going to use the, the flat shader brush. I'm going to pick up brown and do the eyebrows. Make it a bit thicker. I'm not going to put eyeliner on this one. I'm just going to put the lash and I'm leaving the lower eyelid bare. I'm only showing you the fake eyelashes for demonstration purposes because I know the completed look looks a bit weird without lashes. I'm having difficulty putting this lash on. So there we have two beautiful looks. There we go. I mean, this is totally fun. Honestly, it really is totally fun. I'm just bringing it up in a little bit closer. And there it is, guys. I'm just going to adjust the camera now. That is the completed look using the Crown Makeup Practice Board. I mean, this is just like I don't know what to tell you. It's a pleasure to use. You really can just do whatever makeup you want. You can use any kind of makeup you want and it will come off really easily with makeup remover. The first thing that we're going to do is just remove the eyelashes. I've got a makeup wipe here. And I'm simply just wiping it off. It's so easy to come off. Also remove the eyebrows. I 
probably better if I face this way so I can see what I'm doing. The eyebrows are like a blonde color. So that's one eye clean. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other eyeshadow now. And there's also a really lovely experience when you're removing this as well. The cleansing is also really therapeutic. And again, you can wipe inside the eyes if you get any eyeshadow inside. It's just sort of like made out of this really, really hard acrylic plastic. You can definitely also put eyeliner with inside the eyes as well. That is the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with someone who you think might enjoy it. I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.